devices that might disrupt the performance. You can record, that's totally fine. Teams were asked to research the various ways organisms use camouflage in nature. You are about to be wowed with a tale of a hiding in plain sight character, a dramatic plot twist, and a camouflaged object. The team will apply their research to the design of these elements. Teams were also asked to include two team choice elements that show off their interests, skills, and talents. Now I'm pleased to present the team from Magzig, the Gizgams. The team managers are Laura and Jose Torres, and the team members are Josephine, Maddie, Jigyasa, Jacob, Stephanie, Veronica, and Alec. They have given full permission for video, but please no flash photography, just regular photography. All right, audience, are you ready? Yes! Appraisers, are you ready? Team, are you ready? We are officially ready. You can begin. Yeah. <laughs> Deep down in the ocean, in a small town called Seaweed Valley, Flip is from. This prana was not like the other pranas in the TV Valley. The other pranas were vicious and very rude. However, this prana had a kind heart and all she wanted was a friend. If only I had a friend hanging out with, we could paint nails and gossip about the other fish. But hey, I do have you, Miss Michelle. What's that? You're right, my favorite new show is on in a couple of minutes. Frogfish are known for their camouflage abilities. They can camouflage into coral, rock, and even sponge with their unique shape, size, and texture. They generally sit camouflaged, waiting for their prey to draw near. If you look close, you may see their eyes follow their prey. Mm, this isn't the right channel. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. This is Welcome to Sunday News with your favorite host, Cod Fishington. Something fishy is happening in Seaweed Valley. Today at noon, there was a robbery at the Old Fish Old Bank. Our FBI agents Puff, Opto, and Ray are already acting on the case. If you see this frogfish or know any information about her, please report back to 1-800-867-5300. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's the money. I'm not stealing anything. I was just trying to return the money that was stolen. I found it within this coal hidden. And if you look at the security cameras, you will see it wasn't me. And you will find your real thief is Aiden Puff. It wasn't me. How can you trust her? She just doesn't want to go to jail. How do you know all this? How can we trust you? Flashback. Two hours earlier. <laughs> well, two hours before you arrived here, Agent Paul was pretending he was going to the bank for official business. But instead, he stole the money and hid it within this hole right next to me. At first, he didn't notice me, but then he saw my eyes, and so he wanted to free me. He then reported me for stealing the money. I didn't want to come out of the poor reef because I was scared that son would call the police and I would go to jail. Agent Puff is your real thief. <gasps> Arrest him! Call him, Ray! I gotcha! You <laughs> <laughs> right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Uh, I've been planning this for years. That's why I took this job as an FBI agent. I even camouflaged the bag into the court. I could have gotten away with it if it weren't for these meddling fish. <laughs> Well, you heard it first here, folks. The real criminal is no longer Agent Puff, who would be doing community service as a stage sweeper for the rest of his natural life. And the reward will be going to the Frog Vision Piranha. What heroes? This town should be proud. Well, that's all I've got for you today on Sunday News. See you next time! Bye.